Good afternoon, beautiful people. You already know who this is. This is your girl V, and I am back with another vlog. As you can see, I'm in my car. Um, and why I'm super excited for today because my homegirl is actually coming to visit me. She is also a fellow entrepreneur like myself. I'm sure you've seen her in one of my other vlogs before because she's been she's visited me a couple of times so far she's actually one of my only friends one of the few friends that always come out to visit me so she just hit me up and said that she's on her way well she actually landed so i am headed to the airport to pick her up so yes guys uh it's gonna be super exciting because she's always a good freaking time this is always a good time so i can't wait Okay, let me see. I'm actually going to try. Oh, it's hot in here. A shortcut to get to the airport. We are here with um, my good friend, Tanisha, a.k.a. T-Ball Girl. And the lighting on this camera is all jacked up right now. So she is super hungry. Yeah, and we hungry. are going to try out this restaurant. It's definitely um, a hidden, a hidden, yeah. very hidden because it is. You know what? I'm not even going to tell you. We're just going to show it to you. The food better taste good because <laughs> this will be embarrassing. What happened? What's happening? Like right now, there's not even any parking because it's in a, it's like next to a car wash. So we're parked in the car wash space to like wash the car. But we'll see. So we are actually here in um, the name of the place is called Chef Cafe, and it's supposed to be um, Afro Caribbean food. Hopefully, hopefully you guys can hear me because the way this wind, this, this, I'm like right behind. Tanisha, do you want to switch with me? Okay, yeah. So we are here at Chef Cassine's restaurant. It's in Panama. It's actually a hidden gem. It's not like a really... It's not like on a main street, so no, you can't even really tell like where the restaurant is. It took us forever to figure out where the restaurant is, but this is what it looks like. Humid. There's no AC in here because it's definitely a local joint. We're doing local. We're not doing like. Yes. Today is not high class. We're just, you know we're keeping it local and we're gonna try this food and we're gonna see how how good it is. the supposedly jerk wings. This is my honest opinion of them. Tastes like so here's my personal opinion on the wings. I like my wings to be fried a little bit hard like I like I like them dry these particular wings to me weren't fully cooked if you look you can see that it was a little bit pink don't ask me why I still ate them I think I was just pretty like hungry at this point um and then they weren't really like jerk I lived in New York where I was around lots of Caribbean people and Jamaican so I know what jerk chicken tastes like and this definitely was not jerk chicken it was definitely like honey barbecue wings with a hint of spice so I had the lobster with patacón and Tanisha had a uh, garlic shrimp with patacón. They were, it was okay, honestly. It wasn't really bad and it wasn't great either. It was okay. I am just a sweaty mess. So anyway, so we go to the restaurant, we eat food. Everything was not great though. Okay, Tanisha was hot. Hey. She was hot, she was hot, she was hot. So yeah, that was exhausting. She Sitting was really- down, waiting. 
Okay, we try to keep it local. We didn't want to do bougie. We try to keep it local, but yeah, mom and pop, and yeah, local. That's that's great. It doesn't mean that we have to sit in excruciating heat with flies flying all around us. <sighs> okay, so the food was okay. Um, it was mediocre. After we paid the bill, which was thirty dollars, homeboy came stalking you. You didn't even peep game though. I'm the one who peeped. I was like, wait a second, why is he following us? <laughs> he comes out the blue and says that. We didn't pay for the bottle of water. I'm like, what do you mean? We paid thirty dollars on the bill. She's like, oh no, the food is separate from the bar. That in itself was definitely a turn off for me. I don't think I'll be returning ever again. It's a no for me, dog. Um, we tried it. You know that goes to show you you can have a million and one followers on Instagram, but if at the end of the day, you have oh, to chat. Really supporting. That's what the real thing is. These people are following but they have not or maybe they just the or maybe they just accustomed to mediocre or maybe he bought the followers i don't know i have to look at the pictures. i mean the presentation the presentation on the food was really really good though like he the presentation was amazing it you know true but the tomatoes were kind of like mm-hmm. and then the jerk chicken was not jerk the chicken was honey barbecue with a hint of spice. spice yeah it was like spicy barbecue or something but what is this i heart you put i don't know girl I see what but yeah um it's a no for me yeah you know it wasn't the worst though i'll tell you that much yeah but it's not something that left a lasting impression like oh my god i gotta go back and i'm gonna rec- recommend people to go to the yeah. restaurant and definitely was not worth the wait because i was sweating like a pig in there <laughs> Okay, just sitting there sweating. It's like, that's not a comfortable eating environment. We as Americans are very spoiled. Up no, you said that already, and I'm going to correct you on that. I was not prepared for that. I'm overdressed because I just came off of a plane, and you need to dress warm getting on a plane because it's always cold. Maybe had I got changed. got her whole feet up per the usual because the last time when we were in the Uber, do you remember that when you were crunching your toes? Yeah. I'm hot. I have to put the AC on my foot. It was in some heated ass sneakers. Oh my god. I don't know what the hell's going on with this damn camera and lighting. It's just it's like over overly saturated. It does. It does though. Oh wait, I could take that off. Alright, I'll be right back, guys.